Hello everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today we have the compressed version of the Battle Line Network Wednesday event that happened on February 15th of 2023. We have our two maps here. We have Downtown, which the 9th Corps is leading the defense, while 2nd MS is leading the attack. And we have Schoolhouse Ridge, where KB is leading the attack, and 14th Brooklyn is leading the Union team in their defense. In terms of the teams for the match, you have Kelly's Brigade, 2nd MS, 9th Virginia, 5th Florida, and 1st VA Cab on the Confederacy, whereas on the Union, you have 9th Corps, 14th Brooklyn, Irish Volunteer Brigade, and Jackson's Division. And with that being said, here's the current standings in this week, the second week of this event. IVB and 9th Corps up on top, KBJD on the bottom, 2nd Mass, 14th Brooklyn, looking for a way to break through. But, thank you to all our Patreons here for supporting the channel. With that being said, I hope you enjoy this compressed version of the event. Where will they go next? You do have a couple Rambos from the Union coming out, taking shots. Just running up, taking shots. Uh, we do have a Union group engaging here. It is part of 9th Corps here. They just ran out, took some shots at the CSA, dealing some damage, and now they've fallen back. Yeah, they're all kind of just forming up for now. Most of the CSA is out of spawn. It looks like just some respawns who were killed by the 9th Corps guys. What is the what is the IVB doing? Here, here. Here, I think they're gonna sneak some shots in, which is a good idea. Oh, they see it! Oh. What a oh, volley! Wow. They just decimated first BA. You can IVB trying to fall back instantly. Well, what a volley! Holy crap! You mm -hmm. saw them get wiped on the corner there. But I mean, you've seen the Union do a better job, but Union's still losing on tickets. Second like MS is charging Charge now. On the left. There they go. KB following in. One man gets yeeted. Get your load. Get your load if you shot. Now, this charge isn't really a charge. The CSA just kind of pushed forward and they're holding at the corner here, just taking shots around the corner. Well, look a little to your right. Here comes IVB. Coming from the stairs. Ah, here they come. So this is what they normally will do when there's a charge, but there isn't a charge. There's kind of CSA on both sides of this house. Actually, not as much as I thought there was now that I go over it, but... Wow, the CSA kind of got decimated there. There's still a decent amount. There's only one CSA guy left up front. Will he make it out? I don't think he will. Oh, Ooh. he gets a kill. Fuck you. And he's going to get away. 10 minutes in, Union's almost down to engaged. That's, I mean, they're fine. Maybe pick it up a little more, but they're fine for the most part. Shooting, but at the same time, it's kind of working. They're going to need a good charge if they want it to work. Speaking but, you know. Yeah. Speaking of A charge, you do have second MS. They have pushed forward here. Friendly's now following behind. They're sitting on this corner here taking shots. They're kind of getting closer. Most of the CA still hasn't moved forward though. They're kind of still sitting back, maybe to prevent the IVB from coming in the middle like they did last time. Here. I mean, these CSA guys have a hard job trying to peek around the corner here. They peek around the corner, they got eight, ten guys just aiming right there. If you peek out, you're gonna die. Except if you're this man. You just live. My Hubert just went in. Yeah. <laughs> so, CSA is actually catching up the Union, tickets wise. Yeah, I mean, CSA has been catching up. Charge. It's like they're going in now. Oh, no. They need to get a flag across. That's the big thing. Flags are sitting back. There go the flags. Those flags need to get across. Looks like one of them's gonna get across. Is the second one gonna? It. Oh. It gets shot. Was that you, Cater? I don't know. No. Okay. Right next to but they get both flags across. They're charging. Uh, this ninth core group, 51st PA. Um, you do have uh, KB in second MS is a group that is here. IVB's charging out towards the remainder of the CSA forces and the rest of the 9th Corps has moved over to this right side to engage the CSA force that charged across. Confederates are taking losses. Union is almost there as well. 
Fighting is kind of slowed down on the CSA left side. And it looks like first VA Cav is engaging the IVB. Knight goes down though. I just fucking saved like 10 of y'all. No, you didn't, you dumb fuck. You ain't did shit. Damn, you stupid motherfucker. I just walked out your goddamn shit. Shut your Yankee ass up, boy. True, you can see all CSA just going from their spawn. Most of them, anyways, are heading over to the far left side. First VA Cav. Looks like they're just holding back here, helping their friendlies out. Respawns coming in and then gunning it over to this side. So we have mostly IVB on the left. You have 14th Brooklyn and 9th Core on this right side. Um, so yes, they are. They're going down the left side here. Oh, now they're holding. Now they're moving forward. Here they go. Knight gets blasted here as the close quarters fighting has begun. I mean, if CSA don't get thwarted back, I don't know what. They're charging down a little tiny area. Ninth Corps should have been able to blow that up and blow that up they did. U.S. is going for the railroad check skin. And yeah, you can see them heading that way right now. They are Everybody's going. going. Ah. Interesting, they're bringing the flags as well. Ah, it's a little iffy, I will say, but... I don't like it. Very exposed up here. But we'll see what happens. Shots, shots being engaged. I mean, these CSA Rambos are starting to hurt them a little bit. But... Uh, not too much. Keep seeing the occasional Rambo or two. Second, uh, actually, the CSA force that is up on this railroad, which is now mostly Fifth Florida. Second, that's still there though. They're there with their flag respawning. They want to hold that. That's why they brought that flag. But yeah, we can see yes. they starting to push forward. Second MS here, KB, kind of in that yard area, uh, getting close. They cannot be seen by the IVB JD force on the stone wall. T5th right Florida moving in as well to help with the right side. Will the points start being... Is it? Is it? This is a natural decay. It's so very close. The point is going back and forth. Um, over who has control of it. CSA starting to... Union starting... He's going back and forth. He can't be oh, doing they this. They definitely could go out. Oh, they could. Uh, you can see some of these off the CSA officers just kind of uh, going out by themselves and trying to take tickets off of them. Yeah, Fifth Florida charging on the left side now. Not really charging. They just ran out and took shots. But oh, here comes first VA Cav coming out. <laughs> they force no breaking. Now here comes the rest of the CSA. Alright, here comes the stairs group. Yep. I IVB and JD coming in. Oh, this is... Everybody's in this, boys. Union starting to win around where the ninth core position was. How much CSA are left? There's a decent amount. Uh... 9th VA, 5th Florida kind of holding in the back here, but the Union looked like they're going to hold this push. Yeah, a couple of Union guys, they're charging deep, JD IVB guys. They're charging really far out here. They get the flag, but I mean, CSA will probably just be able to get that back. So yeah, I mean, Union's pushing forward here. The Union can just not go in the last stand, that's their thing. Confederates just need to mob charge now. Force Union in the last stand. I mean, Union's holding a lot of guys on that stone wall. They're beginning to come down now. Yeah, CSA doesn't have to care about tickets right now. Nope, CSA just they needs need to, go in. to go in. Union's going to hit last stand here in a moment. How close are they to hitting it? They're getting there, last stand in a minute and a half. So all the Union guys that die will no longer spawn in the game. Anyone who was dead is can spawn in. You can see them in the distance there. 
but how many CSA are active on the field? Not a decent amount. They're all going to come in from their spawn, but CSA's just got to get in there. A minute left here. Plenty of opportunity for the CSA to win this game. You can see them all at spawn right now. Pushing in. You can in. see the, that stairs group. They they charged out. Uh, and I think the reason for that is even if they go last stand, um, they're all going to respawn back. As you can see, a lot of people who came from spawn. That was like at least 30 people from the Union that can come in. But artillery missed. But the Confederates are now going down the right side. They're going to hit him from the rear. 30 seconds left. Confederates got to have more bodies on point at zero seconds. And they can force an overtime and possibly win the game. So far, Union still seems to be holding this. Couple of Union left, another CSA group charging in. They need to get on point, force an overtime. Points going down, points going down. And CSA is gonna have more bodies on point and win the game. Oh. Wow. Wow. Heck of, wow. What a win by CSA, according to your thoughts. No, uh, I think that could have ended faster. Uh, I think CSA was uh, very timid to go up and charge them out. Um, but in the end, their strategy worked. Uh, I'm not sure what the Union could have done more. But I, they kind of played it as, as a defensive group should. Um, maybe the people that were on the stairs could have helped out more uh, once the CSA got in the alleyway. Uh, it's a hard it's a hard thing to do because you can't really gauge um, how many CSA aren't in the alley and want to charge your stairs out. So it's natural to want to stay in that position. For sure. Cater, your thoughts? Weird strategy, man. I don't know. I didn't think we would get it. But um, we made it in time. Just in time. Uh, on this point, that last group. You can see on the end of the map, there's two whole units still spawning in. So, Yeah. Crazy. Congrats to the second the MS on their win. Um, and with that being said, we'll see you in the second round. Sure, we can see CSA is kind of having three a three-pronged attack here. You have on the right side here, you have uh, Fifth Florida here with Smokey here. That looks like more of a diversionary force. In the center here, you have uh, Kelly's Brigade moving through there. And then the, to their left, you see 2nd MS in the front, 1st VA Cav in behind. Up very far forward here is the IVB kind of in this wooded area. They have absolutely beautiful shots here. They'll take them, getting a decent amount of kills in the process. Off to the right. In the center here, we have 9th Corps holding on point. Uh, 14th Brooklyn to their left. And then JD on the far left with more 9th Corps splitting off there. You can see this 9th Corps group that was on point. Uh, 9th New York. Actually, 51st PA. That's the first tag I saw. I apologize. They are moving up into this kind of defilated little stream area here so yeah i mean the kelly's brigade is kind of reforming in the center here after getting volleyed there by ivb very aggressive there on their part so they are reforming their forces um first va cav or actually i don't know who's moving out here it's a second ms But second MS is moving out to the far left. First VA Cav now following them. So yeah, it'll be very fascinating to see what they do. You can see how that KB group, um, the first Missouri, they're starting to move up towards the IVB's flank. Uh, I think we see um, the 51st PA. I don't know if they notice that the CSA are going down their right. Let's see, the CSA group, the first VA Cav, they're getting very close to the 51st. They don't, they don't see him. They haven't spotted him yet. I wish they would have charged in the Ninth Corps backs. Um, but they did a good job wiping a decent portion of them. And they successfully pushed the Union there, that Ninth Corps group, out of there. IVB did end up pushing 1st Missouri back. They're now moving up. Um, 
onto the road. Probably to try to flank first VA Cav and second MS, who is moving really far back. Uh, we do have 9th Corps here. They're pushing forward. And they are taking shots. 9th Corps kind of moved in here. So in the middle. Yeah, first VA Cav is going to pretty much wipe them. Now they are counter charging. Uh, they will eventually die out because IVB and JD are starting to come and help. And they do not have a flag. They're about to go into point and get into first VA, first Virginia Cav's backside. Um, if they weren't here, first VA probably could have won that. Um, we'll see if they notice IVB coming down the road. They're definitely heading back that direction. Everybody up and over. Everybody up and over. So they see him there. Uh, this is allowing KB to get up into that woods. Um, the rest of KB anyways. It looks like first VA Cav is going to try to get away here. Um, IVB okay, so IVB soon. didn't didn't know that first Virginia Cav was there. Clearly they didn't. They're distracted now. Collector is trying to take shots. Misses the first again. Collector not having a very good night with his pistol. TSA taking that huge corner position. Second MS kind of in two groups now. Surprised they haven't moved over to that corner position. But yeah. IVB in the center here. Uh, we do see KB coming up as well. JD near the IVB as well. Um, this is the 10th Tennessee. Um, they're moving up. To the far side, though, we have 1st Missouri. So CSA is coming up on all fronts. Raiders Union's about to hit engage. This point is being surrounded here. Union hit engaged. And yeah, if this, if this trend follows, I think Union's going to have to turtle up and force the CSA to cap uh, because they're very far behind on tickets. CSA hasn't really lost that much. So, JD it's like and a charge on the left. Yep, they've begun to move forward. Let's see a collector's view here as the officer looking away from the combat as any good officer would. Let's see him. <laughs> Fascinating. So these shots are close ranged here. Um, you do have some Union on point, but it looks like CSA should get slowly beaten off of here. They do have less men here. And you can see CSA beginning to fall back here. Um, they do have some men in the back area. They're kind of taking the long way around, but um, KB, the guys that are here, they're getting wiped, though. Uh, we do have CSA charging the point. Second MS is moving in. It is second MS. It's beautiful Confederate Ooh, artillery shot. shot. Oh there we go. And second MS, they're going to wipe that pretty easily here. Well, to them, will they cap, though? That is the question. Yeah, that's something I didn't really think about. Um... Especially for the attackers, right? Oh, if we cap here, how much could the defenders regain? Down to the specifics, too. So, the whole IVB group is engaging with that 1st Missouri group. Some of 1st VA Cav, though, is in the back, though. They're having some nice shots here at the IVB. Collector, though, doesn't want any more of that. He dies. Looks like K Company here from the IVB is pushing forward. 1st VA Cav. Still fighting strong. JD moving in to assist as well. Looks like this will be the end of the first VA Cav. So we do have 14th Brooklyn and 51st PA. They're moving to the center here. So most of the Confederates are forming up in this woods here uh most of kb is here behind them is second ms uh looks like they just ran back and they're gonna run around to try to flank again first va cav coming in from spawn moving up uh they're on point right now um they were probably just trying to save that flag but they're running through it you can see second ms really d deep in the union lines first va cav here as well um kb kind of pulling a little back there after getting flanked. You can also see 5th Florida uh, and 9th VA coming up. Uh, they're going to get right behind the IVB here. Uh, and I'm assuming 2nd MS and 1st Virginia Cavalry are going to come up as well. 
and shoot down into that into that creek. Hey, JD is uh, that's gonna, yeah, that's gonna invalidate all the cover that IVB has there. Who knew you could see Hearts of Iron's four um, encirclements in real life? Uh, but IVB charging out before the rest of the CSA can show up. They're ninth VA and fifth Florida, basically getting wiped there. Unfortunate timing for those two CSA regiments. Um, if they waited a little longer, they could have had first VA Cav and second mess and probably win, but we'll see. Both sides getting close here and engaging. Let's see. And 51st PA has come down from their spawn. Uh, they can help help out IVB here. Uh, maybe, maybe keep themselves alive, maybe keep their flags up. Uh, but we're going to see who's the winner here. And we do see uh, JD coming up from the woods. And they're going to be able to get into the CSA side right here. Yeah, and it looks like... Uh, I, I shouldn't say anything. Got artillery shot. I'd knock down some Union. Yeah, that really knocked down the JD trying to charge. That was a good shot by the CSA artillery. That might have changed the tide of this. But it looks well, like don't speak have, too soon. Now we have, have uh, KB <laughs> coming from the woods too. Oh yeah, crap! Falling right up. It's another charge. This is the uh, battle for Pelennor Fields from Lord of the Rings in the third movie. Just reinforcements keeps coming from every single side, and the Confederates will win this in the end. What a story! That's what the Confederates needed right there. Union's about halfway through taking losses. Uh, Confederates. And so now, now Union needs to make a choice of if they want to stay back. Or keep fighting. But Union's sticking up here. Union is kind of sitting up here right now. So CSA does not believe they'll be able to win the game in 7 minutes and 15 seconds. So they're going to move in the cap and try to hold the point for 7 minutes. Uh, Union will move down the well. Confederates have done a pretty good job with charges so far this round. Um, and because of where they're at, they should have a good position to hold. But where will the Union push? Here we go. Are we going? Help. Spread, spread, spread. Well, if the Union does successfully manage to take that point back, they'll only have to hold it for seven minutes. But here they go. Collector. They're pushing straight to point here. So CSA moved right to try to juke them uh, or to get ready. And the IVB's Forcing them to go right back in the other direction. See Collector's view there as he leads his men onto the snake fence. So IVB is able to get a foothold here. The rest of the Union team is going for that right corner. First VA Cav is there. It looks like IVB is going to lose this charge. As they charge basically the whole CSA team. Yeah, honestly, I don't think they were trying to win that. I think they were just trying to keep that that large CSA mass away from 9th Corps and JD as they try and take back their left side. Yeah, that does look like the plan. Union hits breaking. Five minutes left on this counterattack. So first VA Cav engaging with 9th New York here. And looks like JD is here as well. You do see some using Union kind of rambling in the middle area there. Uh, it's going to be close on this corner here. It looks like Confederates are going to hold that corner. Uh, Confederates go down to taking losses. Uh, you do have some in 9th Corps. I see Tommy here. Um, but yeah, Confederates hold on all fronts. We can see the Union team. They're kind of split. Ah, yeah, what are they doing? Ah, they're all going right. <laughs> All going light led by Collector here. They are going this way. A couple CSA here to stop them. But the majority are now starting to shift this way. Three minutes. Union gets a foothold here. CSA coming down to stop them. More Union shifting to the left. Going to your right. To go to point. But it is going to be close. 
The Indian's getting a firm grip hold, but most of the CSA is not even daring to respond to that. They're just kind of holding back. Fighting still close. Two minutes, 40 seconds left. I don't want to say who I think is winning, because then they'll probably lose. <laughs> yeah. Um, it is possible for the Union to win this. Uh, uh, yeah, it is possible. They have their flags now, so... Uh, they do. They could just uh, rapid fire a collector with a pistol, you know? The CSA uh, on point need to come over. The CSA holding. Who's holding on this point back here? Motherfuckers were charging me anyway. The KV guy's holding on point. Might allow the Union to secure a foothold here. That was a good artillery he shot. Got great already shot on the flags. Absolutely beautiful there. It looks like Union's gonna be mostly wiped on that. Union has left all their flags. Wow, Union! I mean, Union actually has won the charge over here. Uh, they have a couple men left because most of the CA CSA just fell back on the point. So you might be able to see the Union whittle down the CSA enough because they do have a lot of people come from their respawn. The CSA does. Uh, it's about twenty to thirty people that are having to run back. So Union might just be able to overwhelm the numbers, but they are quite spread out. Yeah, and the Confederate shots are quite impressive. They took on a lot there of this first wave. More Union charging down the hill. 20 seconds left on this timer. But wow. Yeah, the rest of the Union coming in. I don't think it's enough though. I think the Confederates are gonna secure a victory here. On Schoolhouse Ridge. So congrats to KB on rebounding, getting that their first win of the season, 14th Brooklyn, handed a loss. Court your thoughts for this round. Um, that's just how the CSA is on this map. Um, they can just push uh pretty much wherever and whenever they want. Um even if they don't do it all too well, which, which they did. They did. I'm not saying they did. Um, but that's just how the tickets work on this map. And Union, uh, it's it's hard to play Union on this map. Um, as you can see there, they're, they're keeping a lot of people on the left, which is opening up for artillery, which you can see some shots going off there. Um, I think Union overall might have pushed up a little too much, um, and that led to them getting pretty behind on tickets. Um, yeah. I, th I think maybe when they went into the counterattack, they could have uh, maybe not not went as much a blob as they did, um, because even on that left side, that ninth core was trying to regain. I think JD was supposed to go with them, but there may have been some miscommunication as JD kind of went more towards the middle, um, or one of the two went towards the middle and not to the left where they needed people. Um, it, it's a tough thing to do, but good job to both teams. Cater, your thoughts? I think the CSA did great. I think the Union, uh, they tried to attack on a defense map. It didn't really work for them. Um, great artillery, especially at the end there. Um, that could have gone way different had the artillery not taken out all those flags. Uh, yeah, I think CSA just outplayed them in every aspect, as well as Union awareness was definitely down. I mean, you saw it with the first VA cab charge. IVB wasn't even expecting it. Um, later, I mean, you saw I got right, like there was a guy within three yards of me, Union, didn't even see me. I was just watching him, my binos. Uh, I think the Union just got to be a little bit more uh, aware of their situation, and they could have won that.